beautiful, the daughter of John Phillips. Bijou Phillips is right over here. Hey, Sally, Sally. hey baby. Hey. How are you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Four young girls. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay. All right, girls, let's dish. Because uh, we all want to know what it's like to be the daughters of rock stars. And I'm not one, so I have to ask you the questions. And uh, the first thing I want to ask you is, you know, I've asked this a lot of uh, baby boomers, this question about, you know, what do you tell your kids? Because baby boomers... They did a lot of drugs and they had a lot of premarital sex and they had a lot of premarital sex when they were on a lot of drugs. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what you're going to tell your kids. You can answer me that or you can tell me what your parents told you when you were growing up, when they told you and what they told you. I'm very curious. I'd say, you know, my parents, my dad wrote a book about like all of his drug abuse and like, you know, it's just sort of known. So an actual really book, or you mean he wrote the book? He wrote the book and an actual book. <laughs> and so it's kind of like... he kind of did write the book on drug abuse. Yeah, he can't really tell me not to do anything or, like, what to do or anything. So it's more like a... Also, when you do drugs like that, you're, you're not an adult. You're... You, apparently, you're emotionally the age you were when you started doing drugs. So that'd be, like, I'd say, 14. So, like, a 14-year-old and a 14-year-old, like... 14 is when you started doing drugs. Yeah, I'd say. And so he's like sort of 14. What, uh, what held you back? <laughs> and it's like, you know, what, what do you, it's more like friends. They can't really, the you know. The best thing to do is to be honest. You know, because if you're honest, then you can, they can learn from your mistakes. Your parents can learn, I mean, what? Your and were they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If your parents tell you, you know, I did this, I did that, I did and that's whatever, so how old were I've you totally learned from my say? parents' mistakes. Um, well, my dad necessarily didn't do that much drugs, and I've never been into drugs, so it, it hasn't been a discussion with me <laughs> and him, so. <laughs> my mom and dad, they always told me when I was growing up. Now, your dad did drugs. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did, but it was mostly my mom saying to me, you know, Leah, you can do what you want. Right? We're not going to stop you, but uh, do it in moderation, you know? And it's like, I've experimented with drugs that I have, but, uh, you know, I have no care for them, really. I have no care for them. Yeah, it's like I never really could get that into drugs because, like, the only book in our house was the big book because everyone had been to rehab so many times. And, like, <laughs> you know, like, literally, like, like, I know. You had, the, like, the guest steps. book in your house. Like, I know, it was everywhere. I, like, all of my sisters are, like, in the program. It's like everybody... So it was never really like an uh, issue for me because I knew so much about it and what it does to a person over a long period of time, just like close up watching, that I never w felt a need to do it. I was just like, ew, I so don't really want to do that. So really the best way to stop your kids from doing drugs is <laughs> to do a <laughs> lot of drugs. Yeah, I think that's fantastic <laughs> advice I think we're helping people here on the Thanksgiving holiday. <laughs> Um, thing, though, is that Sally, it, what I, about your, I know James Taylor, uh, Hi. saw fire and rain just within his eyelids. Uh, <laughs> what about you? I think the important thing is to do is to basically in, inform, you know, inform your kids and also tell them about what your experience was so that when they do decide to experiment with them, which they inevitably will, then they can say, okay, well, you know, my dad's been through this or my mom's been through this. I can call him up and tell him what I'm going through, you know? And so there's not so much hiding. There's not, yeah. um, you Keep know, it's yeah, totally 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 I tried heroin yeah. once and I did it for three days straight and I called my dad and went to rehab for like a month <laughs> afterwards, never did it again. But it was like, I could call my dad and tell him like, God, I, was I tried. wondering where I could get some hey, of that. You could, yeah. you could I was like, I'm scared. This happened. What do I do? And he's like, sent me to a doctor. And then I went to rehab. And it's like never been an issue since then. And also, that's you a know, touching learned... story. <laughs> that is. That is. That is <laughs> I'll tell you. I, <laughs> I don't know. If, no, no, I don't know if you're no. eating that leftover turkey, but wow. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you think it's better that you get this stuff over with when you're young and yeah. strong enough to recover yeah. from it? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say you do? So. I'd say I don't know. I'd, I'd Again, good advice like for the kids. And then, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Parents do a Sorry. lot of drugs. <laughs> kids, start with them early. <laughs> But I don't think we're good. Like, don't like take this as an example on how to like right. do drugs or not. Because do you're like, not it's typical. totally different. Yeah. No. Right. You know, I think we all bad. probably had pretty very different situations. I mean, different you know experimental times and when they started, don't you? Mm -hmm. Not that I've ever tried drugs because I haven't. Mm. 
I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Anyway, we'll take a commercial <laughs> and you know, save everybody's <laughs> bacon right now. <laughs> Who's got to do it? <laughs> you two are like at each other there. What's uh, you must be we friends. We love each other. Oh, <laughs> prove it. All right. I kid the daughters of Rockstar. I've known Sally before. That. Yeah, we've yes, known. We've exactly known each other my point. All right. Uh, <laughs> as I was, uh, as somebody here was saying, you know, you're you're not typical, and that's true. Uh, and you're all, I think, I think you're all in the recording industry. I. No, I'm not. You're not. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're in the fashion industry. Yes. Lucky, lucky. lucky. No, oh, no, I yeah. can't. <laughs> so, um, you know, whenever there are second generation people in show business, I, I, they always say, well, you know, it's harder for us in a way, which always makes me laugh. <laughs> it's not harder. It is not, I don't believe that at all. No, I, I think, it's not. Can I just like, if it wasn't for like who my dad was, like I got so much press on my first record and it was all because of that and it totally helped me like, it totally helped me get my, like, not like I sold any records, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, it really helped you a lot. The Easy, press got out, I got a lot of press out. for my record. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it got out there, like, right. people knew about it, and, like, you know, the few people that bought it liked it, you know. <laughs> I think. They say that, but, it's you know. It's something to build on. Yeah, I mean, and also, I, also the other thing is, like, you... You know, my dad's a songwriter, and I'm a songwriter, and I love writing music, and it's what I do, and I, you know, it's like so important to me and sometimes I feel like that I'm not as credible because of who he is that you know because I write it's not I don't know that the I don't know that it's not original you know I think it's harder well, it's, um, it's a little it's harder, it's harder as far as yeah. songwriting but it's not as harder as far as getting it out there it's harder to be like right people respected. say you know you get well it helps you get your foot in the door and yeah, I yeah. Say, it does. Well, you have to prove yourself. Extent, it but does, you totally have to prove but yourself. You, but yeah, you've totally got to in a, get the respect. Is, but that people that you these are not necessarily opportunities. You know, you you um, you know, you walk into the door and somebody says, "Oh, sign this record contract." But you don't. And that, can, what you no, do you no, I, really I, cool, right? I, I, yes, I did something really. Cool. No, I, I, I just, uh, what I decided to do is do it independently and, and not sign a record contract, which is, uh, thank you, Bijou. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Praise me. Um, yeah, so the, the purpose of it mainly is just so that I learn this stuff myself. And, and you know, if I, if I just sort of jumped into a record contract, I wouldn't know half of what I do about running a record business, you know? I mean, now that I know everything about running a record business, <laughs> uh, I just, you know, there's a, there's, I think there's a lot to learn in that. And also, to be able to create yourself and to create who you want to be as, an, as a musician, yeah. I think is really um, important. But do you agree with that, that it, it's harder? Because... I don't think it's... I, I think it's harder to um, decipher the, uh, the opportunity from what is... Um, just sort of a facade, you know, it's something that, you know, somebody hands you a record deal and, and says, this is a deal, and you look at it and you go, well, this is highway robbery, you know, I mean, it, that's what it looks but, like. I mean, lots of people <laughs> would love to be highway robbed, <laughs> and in the record industry at all. Well, see, and that's when the thing, I, I, you know, my, my, uh, having watched both my parents do this, I, I feel like I, I have enough, I, I know what they did and what they went through, and so I know what I want to do. Expect. So, yeah, I know what to yeah. expect and what not to take, you know, what to sort of... But I'm not um, talking about that. that, I'm just you talking don't even, about you don't just even getting learn. there. I mean, when people say, you know, uh, well, sure, it gets you in the door, my answer is always, yeah, but, that you know, in show business, getting experience. in the door is about 90% of it. Yeah. yeah. Like, a yeah, lot of people could actually true. do the work, well, it's not that I difficult. Mean, there's so many yeah. That's the big dirty yeah. secret yeah. you don't know. They can't get no, in it's true. No, that's completely true. I mean, I go to every backstage that I get to, it's... All the stickers on the wall, you know, are like thousands and thousands of talented bands who are out there and never have a voice. Yeah. So if I can speak to any of that, you know, if I can make that available or accessible, you know, and if I can you know, help create that, that's, that's what I... I, I mean, like Elton really John, passionate. Jr. No. <laughs> no. Not like that, no. <laughs> no. Barry Manilow's kid, where would he be today? Oh. Oh my God. Am I wrong I about that? that I don't think that I've had. I don't think that I've had an easier time necessarily. But it has. You know, people come to the show and they're like, "Oh yeah, I may as well check it out." What do you think about when Tori Spelling said that she uh, auditioned under a fake name and nobody knew who it was? Oh come on! Tori <laughs> 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 Spelling, like the 
only way she could get on television. I, I noticed is the camera wouldn't go on you while you were. <laughs> yeah, do it yeah. again. Do it again. Making me master. <laughs> all right, that's all I wanted to see. We'll take a break. <laughs> He's dancing. <laughs>